One year ago, UNICEF and H&M Conscious Foundation partnered to invest in children's early development and education for the best start in life. The Global Programme for Education has achieved real progress and after the first year, over 45,000 children in many parts of the world already have a better start in life. In Rwanda, we meet with Riponze. She's five years old and has been attending the early learning activities for a year now. She has adapted well to the school environment. <laughs> There is growing evidence that the first eight years of life are critical for a child's development and learning. That's when the brain develops the most rapidly. Singing songs, painting pictures, building with bricks. These activities are pure fun, but they are also important building blocks of lifelong learning. <laughs> To strengthen young children's development, the Global Programme offers even more. Parents are being taught about the importance of protecting children, early childcare and stimulation, sanitation, clean water and healthy food. Raponze's father can already see the change in both Raponze's well-being and her personality. A central part of the global program revolves around influencing governments. This has been so successful that, for instance, in Rwanda, where there previously has been limited activities for young children, the government will now make sure every young child has access to education by 2017. When you invest in one child, you can save a million of, of money because that child won't be sick, that child's going to success in the education, and he won't be a burden to the society. By 2017, 73,600 children will benefit from the Global Education Programme. Three countries will have included early learning in their development agendas. The first ever global report on early childhood development will be released. An important tool for decision makers to promote children's rights. Let's unleash children's full potential.